familiar with the last update, a lot of this will seem familiar, but with some new surprises we hope you enjoy. For this instruction video, we have decided to use Halo Reach, the third and final installment in Bungie's epic trilogy. I'm going to be using a Logitech K200 keyboard with a Logitech G500 mouse. I have it set up at 3500 dpi with the acceleration set to 1, speed 5 with angle snapping and native OS drivers on with a pulling rate of 500. I've played around a lot with these, and these are the settings I like, but I think it's important to play around with the settings and set it up for whatever your cup of tea is. Actually, before we get started, I should mention that to calibrate it in scope mode, you need to hold it down during the entire process. So just do all the calibration techniques while holding down the button, and you'll be able to calibrate it through there. So in order to start, you're going to want to press F1 once. Slowly scroll your mouse wheel up until your crosshairs begin to move to the right. Once they start moving, start scrolling down until they come to a complete stop. This means you've found the edge of the dead zone. Once your crosshairs come to a st full stop, you want to move on to the next dead zone by pressing F1 again. And now you're on the second dead zone. So start scrolling up again, and then scroll down again to hit a complete stop. Now you're going to do this again for the third dead zone, the fourth dead zone, and the fifth dead zone by pressing F1 after you've calibrated each of them. And here we go. As you can see, once all the dead zones are calibrated, it all moves much smoother than before. The next step in our advanced calibration system is calibrating your eagle eyes X and Y axis sensitivity to your liking. Before we do this, it's important to first adjust your in-game sensitivity to your desired preference. I like to have a low sensitivity because I prefer more control and precision to overall speed. Now we're going to start with the X sensitivity, so press F2 and start scrolling up slowly. And with each click, test your horizontal mouse movement. Scroll up to increase his sensitivity and down to lower it. Once you have your ideal sensitivity, press F6 to save. Then, to calibrate your Y sensitivity, press F3. You will notice that your crosshairs will start to move in a cross up and down and left to right. The left to right is your X sensitivity and the up and down is your Y sensitivity. For optimal performance, it is important that they are as equal as possible. So start scroll scrolling up or down until your up and down motion is approximately the same as the left to right motion. Once they're similar, press F6 to save. The next part of our advanced calibration system is adjusting your eagle eyes angle correction. Essentially what this does is improve your, the smoothness of your horizontal and vertical movement by reducing unintentional diagonal movements that occur when you move your mouse in a straight line. Be sure to not go crazy with angle correction. If you set it too high, your eagle eye will ignore all diagonal movement. So our goal here is to improve the overall smoothness of your movement without sacrificing your diagonal movement. So start by pressing F4 slowly scroll up. Make sure to test your vertical and horizontal mouse movement as well as your diagonal with each click. Once you feel that you have your ideal angle correction, press F6 to save. The final step in our advanced calibration system is our new rotation speed limit tuning. Every game has a certain point where the turning speed doubles when the game believes you are trying to turn around. This sometimes causes problems with your mouse movement and creates erratic on-screen movement. This allows you to reduce the unintended acceleration in your mouse movements, but this modification is recommended as optional because you are essentially trading overall turning speed for accuracy and precision. Even though this is recommended as optional, we thought it was good to include more features so that you have more options in your customization arsenal. To adjust your rotation speed limit, press F5 and you will begin to spin very rapidly. This is your maximum turning speed. Slowly begin to scroll down, and you'll start to notice a much slower spin on screen. You don't want to reduce speed too much, because it will make turning around very difficult. The ideal setting is one that increases your precision, but that doesn't inhibit your turning speed too much. Once you think you've found your ideal setting, press F6 to save. Well, that includes this instructional video. We hope you enjoyed it, found it very informative. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment and be sure to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our latest e